feel about like the music download phenomenon that's happening? Skip it? Grease. Did the fact that your album is already on the net change your plan? A little bit. Change their plan a little, little bit. A little bit, a little bit. You know, in terms of scheduling. But it actually kind of, it was kind of fun that it didn't happen in terms of schedule, you know? Or by the book. I guess the reality of how music is nowadays, it's going to be, you know, it's easier and cheaper, sort of. I mean, you need like a expensive computer to download stuff. But a little bit of feeling is lost. that way, but sometimes when you want to find a song, it's the easiest way to do it, so I've got to be against it, and it's free, you know. Okay. I think Nikolai said it best when he was like, when he said that hey, I iPod, <laughs> uh, you know, kind of distort the song, and there's not really much bass, the bass kind of gets lost. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> well, as I said before about the bass, <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Almost five years after the garage punk revival that was most mostly attached to your first album, and bands from the UK and the US still produce new material with your sound. How much have you progressed musically since then? Well, we still play in a garage, <laughs> and we're still punk to the <laughs> core, like David Bowie. Gaba gaba hey. So random dumb thing. Next question, David Kahn. David Kahn's our new producer. He, uh, Albert met him through a mutual friend and he came down to Online the studio. <laughs> yeah. He's our new producer. He's, he's, he's helped us find a new sound well, for us. And uh, we appreciate his help. Yeah. And someone's got new name. <laughs> that you want to move on and stop being connected with the New York sound. First impressions of her still sound like a New York scene. Are we wrong? I don't think we want to be disconnected. I, never, I don't think any of us ever said that. I think that what we did say is that people sometimes in the press, they try to make it, they asked us if there was an actual New York scene of like, you know, a brotherhood of like, you know, 10 bands, 10, 20 bands that are all friends and talk about the same thing and feel the same way about a lot of things, that's sort of a myth. So we're still recording the music in New York and, you know, sort of where we grew up, so we can't deny that, but, you know, I, I don't know if that sums it up for one day. After five years, do you believe that the press helps you? Like press? Yes. I mean, I think we'd be fooling ourselves if we thought that, you know, doing no press would be where we are. Do we like it? I don't know. I, I think it's it's a vehicle to get your music out there and to be, or I should say, to get your, your name out there. And then people go and find your music subsequently. If we didn't think that doing press was going to help us get our music across to people, we wouldn't be sitting here talking to you right now. So, I mean, hopefully that's sort of the point of this, is that people who know we have, a, we have new music out and people 